Good morning. Hello. I'm going to see if I have everything right this morning on our stream. I think I, I think I'm, I hope I'm not a minute late. I might be a minute late, but, uh, hello. Welcome to our Tuesday morning prayer time this morning. I'm happy that I get to join you again. And I, my husband is joining me here in just a minute too, which will be great. I'm so excited to have him again this week. And I don't want to make any announcements until I make sure we have a good crew on our on our prayer cast. And so uh, I'm going to wait just a few minutes as you wonderful ladies join us. And I know that there are, I have been just thinking these last few weeks how amazing that you are to, no matter what time zone you're in, really, just to be so faithful every day to um, not only pray, uh, of course, in your own prayer life, but to join this this prayer with the Mothers of Zion. It's just a beautiful thing, and the Lord is just going to bless and honor you for that. And um, I just, I bless all of you in the name of Jesus Christ. May today you be strengthened and filled with courage and hope. And I just want to make sure I can see comments. So if you're on here, there we go. It's starting to come. I just can't. It's sometimes hard. It'll say live, but it sometimes feels like you're not quite live. So good morning. Good morning. Welcome all of you. Looking forward to praying with you this morning. All right. Let me just tell you a few things. So this week is the Houston prayer tour. The prayer tour resumes this week. So this week they're in Houston. And if you're looking about for the schedule or wondering um, about tickets or anything like that, first of all, all the tickets are free. We're just asking folks to register because some of the places do have a limit and some of the places might be online, but you still can register so we know that you're praying with us. And so you'll go to the events part of this page. When we're done here praying, there's a, a part that has events and it'll tell you all where the prayer tour is really for the rest of the year. So this week is Houston and then next week is Louisiana and Kentucky. And uh, so we are, I think this now we are officially halfway through, which is really, really unbelievable that we're halfway through as far as this prayer tour. So if you live anywhere near the Houston area, I encourage you to make your way to the Mercy Gate Church that's hosting the prayer tour and and get there and pray together in person all right that's so good and then again um, we're 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 praying together we're fasting together and we're giving together so I just encourage you that if you um, what your fast looks like is of course on you pastor Kelly's talked about it can be a few meals it can be a day whatever that looks like for you and then um, we're giving together towards the prayer tour and that is such an, a wonderful thing to sow into this, uh, sow into the ministry as far as the tour and how they, when they land on each state, it's like us landing on each state. Our feet are hitting the states just like theirs are. It's pretty exciting. All right, so if you'll get your communion ready, we're going to start with communion. And I have mine ready. Yep. I have Dr. Dabs ready. Oh, I keep looking the wrong place. I think that's the camera. <laughs> it is? I'm gonna look. It's over there. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. The camera's here. Here. Yes. On the top. Yeah. Yeah, because there's the, the plugger inners yes. there. Morning. I just noticed once again a tremendous lack of any theme music. It's so. I think again we could you could just start with you know such a more of a rhythmic greeting. I could. Good morning. The Lord bless you on this holy occasion, this festive hour, these sacred moments we have together they are in sacred. His presence. <laughs> Hallelujah. <sighs> Wait. I'm reading. Is that it? I don't. I it's forever. I think you can. I was on. I was singing. On earth is not his oh. equal. Or, well. And then he says something. And then one little word shall fail him. <sighs> I can't believe you guys. I'll get some music. You don't have music. I have music. You know, when you it's my turn next. Do I need to scoot over? I don't know. I'm off the I camera. I need more me in the monitor. He does. All right. All right. So I, uh, 
what time is it where everybody else is watching? Like, if they're watching in New York, it's already like it's nine, nine o'clock. Nine Their o'clock. day has started a, a while your ago. Things. You've mm-hmm. done your stuff already. It's true. Okay. It's true. They've paused their day to pray. Oh, thank you. It's Jesus. five a.m. though in Alaska, and those women are precious because six a.m. felt early. Yeah. But five a.m. is definitely early. <laughs> okay, let's go to Romans chapter eight this morning. Uh, this is a uh, just as we lean into our time of communion together. Uh, uh, here's what Paul says to the church in Rome uh, about the uh, the power of what mm-hmm. Christ has done for us. Mm-hmm. Therefore, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus, mm-hmm. because through Christ Jesus, the law of the Spirit who gives life has set you free from the law of sin and death. Mm -hmm. For what the law was powerless to do because it was weakened by the flesh, God did by sending his own son to be a sin offering. And so he condemned sin in the flesh in order that the righteous requirement of the law might be fully met in us, who do not live according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. Go back to verse 2, or verses 1 and 2. There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus, because through Christ Jesus, the law of the Spirit who gives life has set you free from the law of sin and death. Mm -hmm. Paul says that there are two, two laws. There was a law of sin and death, that and that law has been um, superseded, mm-hmm. displaced by a greater law, a mm-hmm. more powerful law. Mm-hmm. One law sin, of sin and death made us we were bo- made us bound mm-hmm. and it, uh, enslaved and led to our death. Mm-hmm. Another law, which is a law of the spirit, is a law of life. Wow. And it's yeah. a superior law that sets us free mm-hmm. and gives us life. And we, when we live now under the, the living by the law of the Spirit who gives life, that we, there is no condemnation in our mm-hmm. life. There is, no, there is nothing in or over our lives that, is, that can be condemned. Mm-hmm. But that our lives are neither, not, no longer condemned, but we are declared or seen as righteous before the Lord. Mm-hmm. And so we live in freedom uh, by the Holy Spirit. Uh, so that and that, of course, is the the the, the fountainhead of our entire life as believers. Yeah. That we are now set free, mm-hmm. and we live according to the law of the Spirit. That's and that good. law, that law is passed, or that law is is ratified or made real uh, uh, because uh, God sent His Son. God, this is something that God accomplished. He established this new law of the Spirit in the body of his son broken for us. Mm -hmm. And so, as you gather today, uh, take this bread and let's do this together. Mm -hmm. And we give thanks that what the law was powerless to do, Lord, Mm -hmm. you did by sending your son in the flesh, that Christ Jesus himself in his flesh fulfilled all the righteous requirements of the law. And then in himself, he took upon his own body all of the the righteous requirement of the law required that there be a penalty for sin. And Jesus fulfilled that requirement by taking all of the penalty of sin, of my sin, Mm -hmm. upon himself. Mm -hmm. Therefore, that requirement is satisfied and there no longer remains any receipt for the sin in my life Mm -hmm. because it has been totally legally satisfied, paid for. You have completely fulfilled my obligation, my offense. The bill to the court has been paid in full. And we are under no, we are no longer, uh, there is no longer any penalty or mm-hmm. payment remaining because 
Christ has accomplished this in his own flesh for me. Mm -hmm. And I receive that again today with gratitude. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. And not only has he fulfilled the, that requirement in his flesh, but through his shed blood, uh, he gives us his own life. So we, Paul says, we are therefore under no, we have no obligation to live according to the flesh or according to the sinful nature whatsoever. But now we have, because of the, the divine enablement, because of what Christ has done, we now, through the Spirit, we have an obligation, an opportunity, a responsibility, an empowerment. Uh, I, we have a, There is a holy influence mm. upon our lives mm. to live according to the Spirit. So not only are we set free from the obligation towards sin, we are now... Uh, we are enabled, we are empowered, and there is a holy influence upon mm -hmm. our life, a compulsion mm -hmm. to live for righteousness because that is what because of the Holy Spirit yeah. working in our lives. Yeah. So we live and we set our minds according to the Spirit, and we live according to the Spirit, and He produces righteousness in our lives. Yes. Let's take that together. Mm. We give you thanks today, Lord. Mm -hmm. We give you thanks today, Lord, for all those who uh, are with us. Mm -hmm. uh, we thank you today. We affirm today that you have fulfilled all the righteous requirements of the law. That you have become our righteousness, and you have a, and, and and you have become in, in the payment for our sin. Mm -hmm. There is no longer there is no outstanding debt in our life. Yeah. Not only have, and and Lord, because of your your death, you have given us your spirit. You have put the spirit of your son into our hearts that cries out, Abba, Father, mm -hmm. that pulls us to live as loving and obedient children. Yeah. We thank you for that. Thank we you thank Jesus. you, Lord, that that is the power that breaks bondage and violence and sin and corruption. Mm -hmm. That there is no greater force to destroy darkness and death and division then the, 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 the death and resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ because you give yeah. us your spirit and we are renewed. You, you pour out your spirit, your word says, and yeah. all of creation is renewed. Mm -hmm. We thank you, Lord, that, that, our, that, 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 that what is behind us has been canceled and what is in front of us is empowered and there's a holy influence to live and be supernaturally, divinely different. We participate in the divine nature because of the holy influence of your spirit yeah. in our life. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. That was good and powerful. His, his blood is powerful. Mm. Um, before we pray on our prayer points, I want us to pray for uh, two things that are happening. Um, Tropical Storm Beta looks like what I was, and I missed um, Pastor Chris's text, but it looks like it, it did make landfall last night in parts of the uh, Texas area. So there, there's some flooding in some areas. So I would like us just to pray, and, and I'm sure others know more specifics than I do, but let's just pray just that this thing, if there is any more activity that it wants to do, that it ceases, and just protection over, over that, that region. I mean, mm. Louisiana just really got hit and is still trying to recover. Mm. So we just don't want that. So join with me. So Lord, we just can, we pray together, Lord, that, that you would just, um, calm this tropical storm and if there's anything coming up on the back side of it lord any other um other stirring in the in the sea out there that you would just let it just dissipate out in the in the gulf just let it dissipate and i pray father that your that that homes and buildings and churches are protected from flooding lord i pray that that wh wherever it hits there's walls that are there's uh, flood walls. I can't remember what they call them on the news, but there's things. Sea walls. Sea walls yeah. um, that are helping uh, from, from damage. Lord, I pray for protection over families and homes today in that. And again, we just ask that it just would just dissipate. Let there be time for recovery, Lord, for that, that Gulf region, Father. Just your hand of protection be upon that. Mm -hmm. And we thank you, Father, for that. And then um, let's pray together for... Um, 
and the again we, we've talked about pastor kelly's talked about on here that that um it's not uh, well let's just pray i don't need to give a caveat about it we're going to just pray for um the president's decision of the supreme court oh, yeah we want there to be um well we want there to be a godly uh woman or man in that position yeah. who will hold our constitution um, and hold uh, moral values and protect babies. Yeah. And so join with me that we just would could pray for wisdom in the in the decision process and and peace in our in our country in, in the process of that of that choosing. And so of course pray how you'd like, but let's just agree together. Lord, we thank you that you um, give wisdom and we have um, we, we continue to call for wisdom for our president and the leadership, the cabinets and the, and the Congress and the Senate Lord and we are asking Lord that you would place your your person, your person in that position, Lord, that your hand, Lord, that you have anointed, you have anointed um, he or she to be this next this next Supreme Court justice and we are asking that you would just, pave the way, make a way mm. even where there seems to be no way, um, calm uh, hearts, calm mouths. Lord, we thank you that that this could be an opportunity, Lord, for there to be a person who will protect life, um, protect religion, protect our country mm -hmm. and, and its values. And we are asking, Father, in the name of Jesus for just a miracle in this situation, mm -hmm. Lord, that your hand would be upon it and your blessing would be on our nation. Mm -hmm. Thank you, mm -hmm. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, so we're going to do prayer points um, four and five, and then I thought maybe if, that you could do some one or two, both of the decrees, mm -hmm. if you want to. So um, let's do this. So we're going to pray, and, and I'm I'm not going to read the scriptures today uh, that for the prayer points. You all know those, of course. But I'll, I'll tell you where they are. So we're praying for the church in America to be aligned to God's word, his promises, and the finished work of the cross and his ways. And uh, our scripture points are Ephesians 1, 3, and 2 Peter 1, 2, and 4. So, Lord, we do agree together. We pray, Father, that across America, mm. Lord, that every single church would begin to speak your truth, mm -hmm. would stay true to God's word, that there would not be, Lord, um, a, a message spoken that would be coming against what your word says or that would um, say that sin is okay. Lord, mm. we just say, no, nope, that's that's an, a lie. That's We don't want any of that nonsense spoken in churches. So we just pray that all across America, Lord, that churches would know and speak that your promises are true. Lord, that what you did on the cross mm. made everything different. Lord, that you, that it is finished. Lord, that, your, that our bodies are whole, our minds are whole, our homes and marriages and children are whole. Lord, I pray that the finished work of the cross would just be manifest in women's lives today, Lord, what they are seeking for healing. Father, I pray for bodies to be healed today. I pray for shoulder pain to go away. Mm. I pray for headache to go away. Lord, I pray for leukemia mm. in the name of Jesus to be healed. Mm. Lord, cancer must go. We say cancer go mm. in the name of Jesus. Be healed. Lord, I pray for children today, Lord, parents who are hearts are um, worried for and, and for whatever reason, one way right. or another for their kids. Lord, that you would come and, and bring comfort to the parents and bring your healing power to those children. Lord, we thank you that every one of them will come mm -hmm. home mm -hmm. and every one of them will be safe, Lord. And we mm -hmm. just thank you for that. Mm -hmm. Lord, we pray that love and honor, excuse me, we pray for the love and honor of God to come. pray for your son and the Marines. Just go ahead. Just yeah. go ahead. Just to go completely ahead. demolish and destroy strongholds of they hate. Have fires in Oregon. Yeah, yeah. Lord, we want we are we demolish the strongholds yeah. of hate in this country. Lord, I speak your your unity in, in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Lord, that there would not be this them. us against them, them against Broke us nonsense in our country. Lord, we every single one of us are precious in your sight. We are your children. We were created in your Jesus. image. And Lord, I just ask that there would yeah. be this uproar, this uprising of love. Lord, we, we come Destroy against the uprising of hate. We say uprise and love mm -hmm. and honor. Lord, even if even yeah. if I don't I disagree with my sister or brother, mm -hmm. I can show honor as, and, and even yeah, begin to ask the Lord to reveal to them truth yeah. if it's a truth issue, yeah, Lord. And I thank you, Father, that you are that you desire life. And so we come into agreement with what you say about life. So for every child or for every unborn child, we are asking there to be, um, we just yeah. demolish the strongholds of hate over the unborn. 
Lord, whatever race it might be, we just ask, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you would protect life, bring hope and bring life. Lord, I thank you even, Lord, for, um, for, for hate just in, in, um, in parties, Lord. We just ask for even just a spirit of unity to start with the church. Lord, I pray for our unity to be in our churches and in our communities, Lord, in different types of churches within the community, Lord. I even begin mm. to to feel like in, in some of your communities, your pastors are going to start having unity with other other pastors and that's in their in their city. They're going to pray together. Lord, we ask that there would just be this uprising of, of praying together, Lord. Um, the pastors in cities that say, you know what, this is our city. Let's go after it together and that they would just pray together and that there would just be unity, Lord. We, we thank you that your love and your honor can come and demolish, yeah. demolish hate. And we yeah. speak that in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Well, you were praying for those very good things. I was just trying to watch what's going on in people's... Uh, so it's interesting. Uh, there's a lot of people. Lord, we pray for... We pray for family members uh, close mm -hmm. uh, in, in their lives, people who are away from the Lord that need to know the Lord. We pray for your yes. salvation. I, we see you that. Mm -hmm. We see multiple people, uh, different age groups, people seeking healing from leukemia. Leukemia has mm. come up three times oh, today that, that I can try to watch. Mm. So if you're praying for a family member uh, mm -hmm. who, is, who has leukemia, uh, there's, just, there's life in the blood. Yes. And we pray that the blood of Jesus, just mm -hmm. that we just speak the life in the blood of Jesus to displace mm -hmm. that spirit of death yes. uh, in the blood of your loved ones. We, and we rebuke it in the name of yes, Jesus. Yes, we do. And we speak life. Um, a few folks have prayed for, uh, for have just mentioned cancer. Mm. And cancer is a killer. And can't, we curse it in the name yep. of Jesus. And we speak for life and strength. We pray for employment yes. for people. So we, we, we pray against and uh, uh, cancer and uh, and leukemia. Yep. We pray for healing for those people. Yes. We pray for knee. I've seen people talking about their knee pain and shoulder mm -hmm. pain today. People whose bodies are in pain. <sighs> yeah. I ask, Lord, that the healing presence of Christ uh, would flow into people's joints, mm -hmm. and I pray for the healing presence of Christ as we as just been asked for the to flow into people's marriages. Yes. For everything that people are concerned with and burdened for today, mm -hmm. Jesus, we bring them before you. We bear these people on our shoulders mm -hmm. as our friends and our, mm -hmm. our, 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 our family, and we pray for healing, for healing for them today. Yeah. We thank you for Jesus. our brothers and sisters who are, who are watching and praying together mm -hmm. for their for neck, shoulders, and back. All these folks that are fighting, we pray mm -hmm. for healing yeah. and help today. Lord, yes, I thank you that Jesus. you are a God of healing and help and hope. And see, another person. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank, thank you, you Lord, healing, for your God. healing touch. We pray for gifts of healing mm -hmm. from your spirit mm -hmm. to be powerfully dispersed mm -hmm. through, uh, Lord, this prayer call today. Yeah. Lord, that people would be, would testify in the yeah. coming days yes. of different reports, right. of new reports, of mm -hmm. new tests, of Lord, because Jesus, you love them. We pray for the power of the age to come, to come breaking in upon mm -hmm. them now. Mm -hmm. The anointing of the Holy Spirit, that powerful and holy influence of Christ to be brought to bear upon their lives, yes. their bodies, their homes, and their marriages today. Yes, Jesus. The king, I, 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 we say aloud that the kingdom of heaven is at hand yes. and is being brought to bear upon your lives. The authority of Jesus is being brought to bear upon your life Hallelujah. through the anointing of the Holy Spirit today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Um, I think what I would like to do, it's been a, a while since I've read one. I know Pastor Callie reads them from... Um, Ivan Tate, their friend, this letters from God. I wanted to read this over us today, mm. um, and then if, if we'll see how, if um, diabetes go in Jesus. Yes. Is that okay Jesus if I just kind of sure, read sure. Okay, so I'm going to read. It's the it's the amplified version today out of this, and so it's Psalm yeah. twenty five fourteen. Pray for your sons, Cameron. The secret of the sweet, satisfying companionship of the Lord have they who fear them. And he will show them his covenant and reveal to them its meaning. 
Hear my words. Listen to me calling you closer. Open your heart to the healing that is hiding within them. Never doubt that I love you wholly, truly, and forever. Take my words. Don't lean on yourself. Lean on me. Let me show you the secret of love, the secret of life. True and sweet communion of my spirit is like jumping into a stream in the middle of a blistering desert. In communion, I reveal my face. In communion, I take your unformed parts and shape them to look like me. Let your heart open up to the healing rays of my love. Let me heal your unspoken brokenness and make, your, make you a repairer of lost souls. Bring them into communion with me. Show them the way to unbroken fellowship with me. I reveal my secrets to those who fear me. I am ready to answer your questions. Mm. There are depths to my love that I want to reveal to you. The love that heals, the love that builds, the love that liberates the areas of your life that have been broken and shattered. You and I are in covenant, and I never break my covenant. The sweet, satisfying companionship that you and I are going to experience will go unhindered. I don't want half of you or part of you. I want all of you. I want unrestricted access to your will and your heart. Only then can I unlock the vaults of heaven and give you unrestricted access to all of my treasures and mysteries. Come to me and we will live in open fellowship, learning, growing, and gaining life. Can I read Psalm 20? Yes. Uh, I'll just continue to read, yes. reading all these folks stuff. Uh, Psalm 65, and we're, we're trying to work, we're reading quickly all the things that you're saying because mm -hmm. everything matters. It does. Uh, psalm 65, uh, hear these uh, friends and let these, let the words of this psalm really, uh, listen, lean in with your heart, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, chronic inflammation goes in Jesus' yes. name. Yes. Uh, praise awaits you, O God, our God in Zion. You, you, to you our vows will be fulfilled. You who answer prayer. The psalmist recognizes that the God who answers prayer to you all people will come, and we're coming today. First of all, it says, when we were overwhelmed by our sins, you forgave our transgressions, which is, we, it's cool to, to come to the Lord in prayer and first recognize that, that we, when we were overwhelmed by our sin, the Lord forgave our transgressions. Mm -hmm. he, he atoned for them, is what the passage mm -hmm. says. And then in verse 4, blessed are those you choose and bring near to live in your courts. Mm. Blessed, you are blessed. If the Lord has chosen to bring you near, then you are blessed. Mm -hmm. And we have read in Ephesians that the blood of Jesus, Paul said, you have been brought near by the blood of Jesus. Yeah. You have been brought near by the blood of Jesus. You have been brought near it's a passive experience the blood of jesus mm -hmm. has grabbed you and brought you close mm -hmm. so you have been brought near to live in the courts of the lord to mm -hmm. abide in his holy place wow. the blood of jesus has brought you near to live in his courts the place of his favor mm -hmm. the place of his power the place of his holiness that is what the Lord has done. Alcoholism is broken off of you and your family line in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. You And here's how, because we've been brought near, we will be filled with the good things of his house. Yes. You have been brought near by the blood of Jesus. You live in his courts and you will be filled with the good things of his house mm -hmm. um, and of his holy temple. Yeah. The very holy things of God belong to you. Now, verse 5, you answer us with awesome deeds, probably with awesome and righteous deeds. Awesome and righteous. You answer us with awesome and righteous deeds. Oh God, our Savior, the, yes. you, are the hope of the, you are the hope of all the ends of the earth. Yes, he is. God will answer because he's brought you near by his blood. Because you've been brought into his courts and into his holy temple, you will be filled with good things. And he will answer your prayers today. Yes, he will. With awesome. 
and righteous deeds. Yes. Oh, that's good. I think that's what something that some of you all need to do, or all of us, write it down somewhere. He will answer my prayers with awesome and righteous deeds. Make it personal. Yeah. That's so good. Because he's brought you near. Because it that's the that's the privilege of those who have been brought into his courts by mm-hmm. the by it and the blood of Jesus has done that. Mm-hmm. He will answer your prayers. Mm-hmm. He will answer oh, I wanna push on that today. He will answer yes. your prayers with awesome awesome and righteous deeds yes he is the hope of all the earth yes he is yes he is yes that's psalm 65 psalm 65 and one to five and you the yeah, whole thing so awesome. good yeah praise the lord that's good i actually do think that there are some on here that feel like he's not answering or he won't answer and that's a lie from the enemy that's, that's completely his, a lie the guarantee of his answer is in well Unfortunately, this very grotesque little plastic cup, but uh, is in the fact that you have been brought near. The whole thing is based mm-hmm. on you're blessed if you've been brought, if he's chosen to bring you near. Because mm-hmm. if he's chosen to bring you near, you're in his courts. Yeah. <laughs> you're in his house. You have mm-hmm. good, good and holy things. Yeah. He answers your prayers with righteous, yeah. with, with awesome and righteous, and righteous dude. deeds. Yes. Dude. Dude. Yes, that is so good. That's a good way to end this today. I want you guys to write that down. He answers my prayers with right, with awesome and righteous deeds. Just say that and begin to declare Ooh. that over you Callie's, and everybody else. We were that Kathy? She put it. She, she put it in all caps. Good deal. With a bunch of emojis. Thank you. Go away, alcoholism. That's right. Yeah, hang on. Salvation. Be saved, people's families. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome and righteous deeds. That is awesome good. Awesome and righteous deeds over over you, over Jacqueline. Over everyone. Yeah. Awesome and righteous deeds over Janelle King. Who's Janelle King? She sounds like she could be out there a little bit. I'm not sure <laughs> who that is. Norma Monks. We'll see yes. you Thursday. Awesome. Well, listen, thank you, ladies. We are just, we just did our time this morning and uh, make sure that you know a couple more things. I think I did forget to say, so please be sure to share this broadcast with your friends. Somebody that comes to your heart. Joe's mental health, awesome and righteous deeds. Yes. Ask the Lord to reveal someone that you know that needs to be praying or needs prayer. It could even be, hey, listen, you need prayer. You should join this because it can teach them how to pray and then they'll know people are praying for them. And then everyone else will see you in Houston, whether in person or the rest of us joining online this week. I won't be in Houston. You can watch online like me. That's what we do. It's exciting. And um, I get to go somewhere else eventually. (laughs) Thank you so much for joining us today. We love you. Pastor Callie will be back. We'll all be back tomorrow, 6 a.m. Pacific Coast, 8 8 o'clock Central. And um, enjoy your Tuesday. I just want to say thank you to Mrs. Dav and to Pastor Callie for the... The uh, the rich privilege of joining you in this uh, yeah. this half hour of fellowship in the name of our Lord. Okay. <laughs> Hallelujah. Awesome Great. and righteous deeds. Bye.